Welcome back to the Best PT Podcast, episode 2.2, Joint Types and Receptors. Looking at joint classifications, they're the fibrous joints, which are non-synovial bones united by fibrous tissue with minimal or no movement. Examples include sutures of the skull, interosseous membranes, and a tooth inside of its socket. Moving on to cartilaginous joints, hyaline cartilage connects two bones together with slight motion available. Examples include the sternum and rib articulation, as well as the pubic symphysis. And then finally, we have the synovial joints, which allows free movement between bones within a joint cavity, which includes articular cartilage, a synovial membrane with synovial fluid, as well as the fibrous capsule of the joint capsule. These joints allow the most motion, but they're also the most vulnerable to injury. We have uniaxial joints, such as the elbow, which is a hinge joint, and pivot joints, such as the AO joint in the cervical spine. We have biaxial joints, such as condyloid joints, such as the metacarpal phalangeal joints, as well as saddle joints, such as the first CMC of the thumb. And then finally, we have multi-axial joints, such as the planar joint carpals, and ball and socket joints like the hip and the glenohumeral joint. Moving on to joint receptors, we have free nerve endings, which are inside joint capsules, ligaments, synovium, and fat pads. These free nerve endings, or FNEs, are sensitive to non-noxious mechanical stress as well as noxious mechanical and biomechanical stress. These are present in every joint. We have Golgi ligament endings, inside ligaments, as well as adjacent to ligament bone attachment sites. These receptors are sensitive to tension incurred by ligaments, and they're present in the majority of joints. We have the Golgi Mazzani corpuscles inside the joint capsule, which are sensitive to compression of the joint capsule. These are mostly present in the knee joint capsule. We have Pacinian corpuscles inside the fibrous layer of joint capsules. These receptors are sensitive to vibration, acceleration, and velocity changes. These are present inside all joints. And then finally, we have the Ruffini endings. These are inside the fibrous layer of joint capsules. They are sensitive to stretch on the joint capsule, including amplitude and velocity of the stretch, as well as the joint position. These are mostly present in proximal joints as compared to distal joints. That's it for episode 2.2. The next episode 2.3 will focus on muscle actions.